Well, Pennsylvania has a number of tight congressional races in the upcoming midterm elections. Republicans have controlled the state's 11th district for more than a decade. They hope to hold on to that seat, a district with the largest Amish community in the country. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales takes a closer look. I'm in a wet and soggy day in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, home of the 11th Congressional District, where Congressman Lloyd Smucker is running for his fourth consecutive term. We're all created equal in the eyes of God, the image of God. Uh, I think uh, protection of life is important. Uh, we believe, I believe, that life be begins at conception, um, and I think we should value uh, the life that's been given to us by God. <laughs> Congressman Lloyd Smucker was born into a large Amish family. Although he's not in the community now, he tells me he learned things don't come easy. Smucker wanted to attend a Christian high school and worked at night hanging drywall to pay his tuition. Growing up in the Amish community, what lessons did you learn that you're taking to Capitol Hill? It's that, uh, uh, that work ethic and then the sense of family and sense of community that is, that is very strong uh, in the Amish community. Uh, they take care of one another uh, in a way that you don't see in, in many communities. On Capitol Hill, he's a member of the Pro-Life Caucus and serves on the Ways and Means Committee and plans to run for the Budget Committee Chair if Republicans take control. He says Republicans plan to pursue pro-growth policies like lowering taxes and cutting regulations. We're headed for a train wreck um, if, if we don't change course. And so I think that has to be a top a priority. And again, we have to, uh, part of the solution to that, in fact, the big part of that solution is to implement pro-growth policies that, that keep this economy uh, growing. And As for the president's energy policies? It's the formula, the classic economic formula for rising prices. And we predicted it at the time that the American Rescue Plan uh, was passed. There's a feeling among the Democrat Party that the, you know, if you're wealthy, you probably took advantage of some. We've heard these comments. You've taken advantage of someone else. And the only way we can help the poor is to take that money that you've earned from you and give it to someone else. And the crisis at the border? We cannot just allow people to walk in without knowing who they are, without knowing their motivation for being here. We've already seen people on the terrorist watch list. And then we're allowing fentanyl and drugs to come across the border and it's causing a crisis. It's important to note that EWTN News Nightly reached out to Democratic candidate Bob Hollister. However, our emails never received a response. In Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.